my career journey, I feel like it's, it's still going, of course. Um, I, was, I started working as soon as I can. I was 11 years old. Um, I was literally working um, you know, as an intern, helping sort of prepare the school for the summer and, and just trying to figure out how can I be productive? How, how can I contribute to my household? Um, you, know, you know, we grew up in East Harlem. My parents weren't wealthy. So at a very young age, you know, I realized I need to be another man in the house and, and contribute. So I was always willing to, to give back and to think about, you know, how am I developing, you know, as this man of the house that my dad would always refer to me as. So um, I first started, uh, you know, joining, I'm a joiner uh, by nature. I, I joined the debate team in school. I was on the newspaper club. I was the editor of the, the school magazine. Uh, I was on the United Nations uh, uh, debate team. So really just, I think my just sort of natural aversion to growing a network, which is a part of the, the, the polling, and we'll, we'll get to that, um, was sort of what started, got me into a lot of different places. Um, so I would say up until high school, you know, I had done almost everything. Uh, and it was when I started working at the Harlem Children's Zone, which was a nonprofit in Harlem, the first of its kind, really taking a holistic approach to how do we service a community like Harlem. Uh, Jeffrey Canada was the CEO at the time, phenomenal track record. And it was there where I was able to get a, a lot of newer opportunities, connect with people who were really interested in helping me develop. They saw my natural leadership ability. Um, and I was introduced to Coro, uh, which is another leadership program in public affairs. And this was around the time that I had graduated from college. I went to Hampton University study political science, um, had considered going to law school, but realized I wanted to work. <laughs> yeah, that was that, that 11 year old child hadn't, hadn't quite it yet. Um, just still interested in figuring out, you know, what can I do? How can I get involved? How can I be active? Um, and so after college, there was Coro and I worked on a few campaigns. Uh, I worked in the Bloomberg campaign. Uh, I worked for Bloomberg LP um, and, and also, you know, did some time in a PR firm but eventually realized I wanted to work in city government. Um, and so I started out as a uh, program manager at NYC Service, um, where I was managing a portfolio of, of impact service initiatives. So NYC Service, um, I, I like to refer to it as like a, a sort of city uh, philanthropic arm, right? We're really thinking about how do we use volunteerism and how do we use you know, uh, corporate sponsors to really advance some of the city's initiatives? How do we serve communities that, where the needs are greatest through volunteerism and sort of corporate partnerships? So there I got a chance to work on uh, you know, some really amazing initiatives, right? Being fresh out of college, you know, I had no idea that I was gonna be able to develop a community development grant where I was literally giving money giving grants to community boards to beautify their neighborhoods, right? And so just going back, you know, when I graduated college as a political science major, you know, I had, you know, was the chair of the community service board. I'd always thought like, it would be amazing to have a job where I can get paid and do this stuff for real. Uh, so I was really blessed and lucky to have a lot of those sort of formative experience of the Harlem Children's Zone through Coro to land myself at NYC service in the mayor's office. At NYC Service, I, I, I did that for two years. Um, you know, had a, a lot of success with the Love Your Block grant. I worked on Million Trees, which is literally replant, re, replanting the city's urban forest. Um, you know, worked on a variety of nutrition initiatives through Shape Up NYC. So really, uh, you know, was able to, you know, have some real impact at a very sort of early in my career. Um, from there, I wanted to get a better sense of. Uh, understanding how volunteerism can really help push the agenda forward, but a huge part of it is jobs, right? How do people get access to sustaining wages, to good jobs? Um, and so that led me to the Department of Small Business Services, where I worked as a account manager and designed a program called On the Job Training, or New Skills, New Jobs, which was literally getting New Yorkers um, who had been out of work for six months or more back into the workforce, uh, which was exciting, right? I, I had been in a position where I was working with programs that had a, had a life of their own, had already exist, existed for a while, um, 
And this was an opportunity to really sort of create a new program. And so after the first year, we had over 100 people who got back into the work. And the program still lives today. So that's something that I really am excited about, um, I feel good about, um, that I was able to actually get people back into to work. So that was uh, um, SBS, and, and I moved into more policy and operations and managing performance for our workforce. One Center did a lot of community development work, building community partnerships. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to go out in the community and sort of meet with people that we're surveying. Um, and so, you know, now I'm at operations and, you know, under this mayor, I feel very fortunate because his mission has been equity and how do we think about equity in all of our programs. Uh, one of the first projects I got to work on was ending veteran homelessness. How do we really address a serious issue amongst the veteran community? Um, and worked on a team to build new housing in Hollis, Queens for veterans. Um, over 100 veterans were able to, you know, move into supportive housing. Um, so, you know, these are the things when I reflect back on my career that I've been able to have measurable real impact um, and I'm excited to do that moving forward.